going to bake something really yummy today, so stay tuned. We're gonna be making vegan cookies. Okay guys, so for the vegan cookies, what you need, you're gonna need apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, salt, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla, natural sugar, it can be any natural sugar you like, and then unbleached flour. And then sprinkles for your cute cookies at the end. And then you're gonna need a large mixing bowl, a small mixing bowl, a whisk, a spatula, and something to lay out the cookies on. So a pan. <laughs> That's it. Okay guys, let's get started. So in the bigger mixing bowl, you want to get two cups of flour, and you're gonna have one teaspoon of baking powder. Can I put that in? Okay. And then you're gonna have three fourths a teaspoon of baking soda. And people think that these are really gross, but they're actually really good. Vegan cookies are really healthy for you, like a good snack. Um, they're really sweet. They taste the exact same as a normal cookie, but it's just better for you. Chloe, have you ever had vegan cookies? No, but I'm really excited to try some. Well, they're really good. Okay, so next you want to put just a little bit of salt. It's really just a little sprinkle over the batch. And then you're gonna pour in your sprinkles since now. So you can put those in. And we're just using a little bit. It really doesn't matter how many you use. They're just fun and they just make the cookie look more tasty and yummy to eat. So we're gonna get started on the second portion, but before you do that, you want to preheat your oven to 375 so that by the time you're done with the dough, you can just pop it in the oven and get it started. Okay, Chloe's gonna whisk this together. This is just the dry first ingredient. The flour, the baking powder, the sprinkles, the baking soda. So Chloe will whisk that. And then in this smaller bowl, we're going to have our one cup of sugar. And we use this natural cane sugar kind of thing. And you can use any sugar you want. It's just the, I don't know, it's just better, healthier in this way, I guess. So that was the cup. So now we're gonna put in the coconut oil. So for this, we chose coconut oil just cause it kind of gives the cookie a little coconutty taste and it's really good. But you are welcome to use your vegan oil or whatever you want. And you're gonna add that with the sugar we put in. Next, you're gonna put half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Teaspoon. And I just used the lid because I know that this measures out to a teaspoon, so I did half of it. And then lastly, you're going to want to put your apple cider vinegar, and this is not optional. You do need to use this. It smells bad. And it smells really bad, but it's okay. And this is one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Oh, Stinks! So it's okay though, it makes it taste so yummy. Yeah, it's strong. Still that really good. And that is it for this part of the batch. And this is like the wetter part of the batch. So now we're just mixing the liquids together and you want it to be smooth and incorporated before you mix it in with the dry batch. Okay, so minor mistake, I forgot to add one fourth cup of water, so let's just do that really quick. I forgot, but yes, water is important. And then you want to mix that again, Chloe, okay. until it's smooth and just, everything should just fall in and balance dissolve. with each other and just kind of dissolve. It's looking like tea right now. <laughs> But smells bad. Eventually, this will get smooth. So, yeah, and you want to hear this that. noise. So 
now that we added our water, we definitely got that creamy dissolved thingy we were looking for. This is what you should get as an end result. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the wet mixture into the dry mixture, which is our flour, our baking powder, our sprinkles. And you're gonna add it in just slowly, a little bit at a time, and then you're gonna mix it. So you're gonna be doing this, just adding slowly. Chloe, I'll let you mix it. Yes, thank you. And just slowly, you will keep adding until... It's like um, dough. Like doughy, yes. It will be a doughy substance by the end. It's kind of sticking to like the mm -hmm. whisk. It's okay. Actually, it might be better to use like a wooden spatula or something for this part, not a whisk. We came to a wooden spatula because it was sticking to the whisk and it's not sticking to the wooden spatula. Just using a wooden spatula just makes it easier to mix. And just keep adding the liquid in and mixing it around. spray down the pan and I'm just using this natural butter spray and spray it and that's it and then we're gonna roll these out and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, we finished rolling these in little balls and they're about like an inch and a half. And you just want to separate them, give them space so that when they cook, they'll just make their cookie form. And we had already preheated the oven to 375. We're gonna put it in and they're gonna bake for eight to 12 minutes. Five minutes later. This was the reason for the spatula and you don't have to do this. This is just something I like to do so the cookies look a little better. But once it's in the oven for about half of the time, what I'll do is I'll hold the rack and then I like to just press down a little bit firm on the cookies so that they flatten out and have just a flat top instead of a round base. And just go through and do that with your cookies if you want. This is totally optional. This is just something I like to do with the cookies. And just push that back in. And let it finish cooking. These are our final results of our Yum. vegan cookies. Oh, you're gonna get burned. Don't do that. And now it's delicious. They are really good. And let's try. Easy to make. So yeah, pretty good. Here we go. And you can flatten them out more after you get them out of the oven. Literally still optional. But that's just what I like to do. I don't like it when it's round, so I just like to flatten them out. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>